core PlayStation 3 add-on pack. A, I think core looks really great. And then B, I haven't done much PlayStation 3 emulation. So I am on my PC. This is a pretty high-end PC. It has a, or it's a laptop. It has a high-end i9 mobile processor and a 2060 GTX. Uh, graphics card. Uh, most of these games ran fine. I actually did get some lag in Need for Speed. What we're gonna do is just show you how I set this up, show you core in the front end as, as a whole and the games that are included in this pack, and then I'll actually play a bunch of games. I left quite a bit of gameplay in here. You'll notice that um, in the airplane game, it ran flawlessly. Perfect FPS, um, no lag whatsoever. And then when we get into um, Need for Speed Burnout, it takes a little longer. The other thing to note is um, make sure you know your antivirus is off when you install a pack like this because you might lose a file or two thinking that it's a virus when it's not. The other thing is the first time you launch a game, it's gonna compile like this and so it's going to take a good four to five minutes or maybe even more depending on your computer. Um, the reason I don't do a lot of PlayStation 3 emulation is it does require so much horsepower as far as CPU and GPU. Um, but I, I have to say, overall, it's really great to play these really great titles. Um, the only thing I dislike is those load, those long loading times. Like, come on, PlayStation. It could take you like 5 to 10 minutes, maybe even 15, 20 after you're done with the story to get into the game. Here is my new core Sony PlayStation 3 starter pack. I'm just going to go ahead and copy everything within those contents. Go over to where my core is. It's in my core folder here. I'm just going to go ahead and paste. It's going to take some time to transfer over. While that's transferring over, the README is very helpful. It tells you what exact games are on this pack. It's 12 total. 1942, Afterburner, Army of Two, two Batman games, Bayonetta, Bioshock, Borderlands 1 and 2, Burnout Paradise, Kingdom Hearts, and Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Um, do note that the first time you install these, you will it will take a little longer to load each game, um, but every additional... Uh, time you run the game, it'll be much quicker. Um, I've already extracted it via 7-zip and then I'm transferring it over. It says to install those Vulkan drivers if you haven't already. There it is, an apps, install Vulkan. You can just go ahead and double click that if you haven't already. Go to Atlas here. Okay, cool. All right, and then we're gonna go to consoles. Sony. And PlayStation 3. We've got 1942. Afterburner Climax. Army of Two, me, Batman, Batman work. Origins, Bayonetta, Bioshock, Borderlands, Borderlands Two, Burnout Paradise, Kingdom Hearts, Scott Pilgrim vs. World. Start out with 1942. Look at that fog. Look at that turbo button on the uh, controller here. Kind of cheating, I know. Oh, there we go. Get out of my way. Here we 
go to this boss level. That's cool, there's a different play style. Now this is kind of just like a runaway scene where you can't actually... It seems like you want to follow your um, medals. Oh, they tricked you there. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and start select out. Um, you can see over 100 FPS here. Built for jumps and spins. It's a good all-run car, though. Perfect for a newcomer like you. Now, this car is a little beat up, so it'd be a good idea to find an auto repair shop and get it fixed before you get into any serious action. We've marked the nearest one on your map here. It's just around the corner on Angus Wharf. Okay, let's just check this thing still starts. Hold the accelerator to fire up the engine.
ammo. to get resupply. Borderlands, what a cool game. Um, I play a lot of shooters on the keyboard. That's why I'm not very good with the analog stick controls, but um, I'm sure once you get used to it, it's it's really nice. And the graphics here are amazing, just like you saw with all the games. You saw a little bit of lag in the Need for Speed game, but um, other than that, they all ran really great. Uh, once you got past the first compile, you know, every time you reopen these games, I tried it on a few, it only took, you know, less than, you know, 30 seconds or so. So it runs really great. You can still save your games and everything and do full tweaks and things that you could do with the emulator, which I didn't do any. I kind of left it out of the box so you can see what the out-of-the-box experience could be. But I was running a lot of these games in 1080p uh, with no problem at all. You can always downscale these games too to like 360, 720 if you want to play and you don't have as powerful of a computer. As far as this build itself, this is like a, I don't think this is an official core release. You know, this is somebody who took the core front end and then added some ROMs to it. So um, they are out there in the wild, check Discord, and um, you know, two thumbs up. A, for PlayStation emulation as a whole, B, for the core team and just such a cool little front end, and then C, for, you know, nice little compact pack. You know, it just, down and dirty, booted right up had all the drivers are needed and uh, it had a collection of games that actually do run right it's, it's such a shame when you get a collection and it's like why'd they include that game it obviously doesn't work but this was not the case here so with all that said two thumbs up that's what i think let me know what you all think don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll get <coughs> oh i almost choked and we'll catch you on the next one